let's kind of end on the on the culture issue and i'm, I'm going to give you one of these kind of impossible hypothetical scenarios um you you wake up tomorrow and miraculously all tv channels all radio waves all internet searches are, are at your disposal um there is there is a strange absence of sport from the broadcast networks and in this five minutes of magical silence that has been gifted to you what is it that you would most want people to understand better or think about harder i think it's the um putting yourself in someone else's shoes um you know there are sort of exercises that groups do to imagine that you, you know you're given a card and you are given a set of sort of demographic or socio-economic or cultural attributes and you have to put yourself in someone else's shoes so i think really from a leadership perspective it's putting the company in the shoes of that employee um, but in a structured way in a in an educated way and not just knee-jerking with the whole let's put a rainbow flag up or let's do this you know cultural day or let's do some dot art on the wall um, that is not engagement that is not truly um truly going to make any difference whatsoever so it's about being scientific um cultural change um is really long and hard and you're going to get it wrong but don't be afraid to do it because you're going to get it wrong it's okay um and make sure that the people leading the conversation um are educated about the topic people um, within your organization can help you lead that conversation but don't let it then become an emotional burden on them and an unpaid burden on them. So lots of important aspects to this, but really get, get professionals in. Um, let's put ourselves in the shoes of, of people who aren't necessarily from the cultural majority. And um, let's make sure that um, we are not creating a workforce that is burning people out um, and creating, let's, let's be honest, misery uh, amongst workers because life is is more important than that. And, it, and it's a it's a profoundly unsettling moment having to put yourself in someone else's shoes. We 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 talk about this in the social impact space about being okay with being uncomfortable, um, of being in this kind of quite vulnerable place. Um, That's it. And it's really really hard <laughs> yeah absolutely and then you know it's the too hard basket <laughs> yeah, exactly <laughs> yeah if you have a too hard basket it should be it should have transparent sides and you should be able to um look at it regularly so it's you know it's part of your planning it's part of your strategy it's part you know it's part of your policies mm -hmm. and um you know revisiting this stuff regularly having a reconciliation a reconciliation action plan having um you know having things you know, I always say if you if you can measure it, you're going to do it. You, you, it's it's gonna it's got to be in your plans. Um, this has got to be a sort of a business as usual, just like health and safety has become. It's a, a business as usual important element of your your company strategy, um, and that's what inclusion has to be. And I think that's that that that's an incredible parallel for the mining industry because health and safety in the industry went through that that moment of realizing that it wasn't just about a series of engineering fixes but actually that people would stop being injured and stop being killed on workplaces if the culture changed rather than just if the engineering fixes were right absolutely right and um yeah it can't be fixed from the outside right. uh and it's the same thing you know reporting near misses reporting and learning Speaking from up. having conversations it's it's very important so it's about education like everything um, it's about continual education and learning.